guess what? It's time for part two of my Costco video series, things you should and shouldn't buy at Costco. I had thousands of you guys comment and tell me that you guys wanted me to do this video. So we're outside Costco getting ready to go in. We're gonna add more things to our list of things you should and shouldn't buy at Costco so you guys can save the most money. So I've got my little sidekick. Say hi. So let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started, I need to add in a little disclaimer, okay? This video is to help you guys know what kind of price points to look for. Obviously, if you think the quality of something at Costco is better quality than your grocery store, you might be willing to pay more money for it. But this video is basically to help you guys know the price points you should be looking for. And if things at Costco are typically less expensive or more expensive than what you can find for the same exact items at your grocery store. So it's kind of just like a comparison video to help you guys know what things you should be buying at Costco and what things you should be buying at the grocery store. But of course, quality or your preference is going to trump a price if your budget allows. So I just want to make sure I made that clear before we go into the video. And if you guys have not seen my first Costco video with 25 different things you should and shouldn't buy, I'm going to link you guys to that at the very end of this video so you guys can get caught up. Okay, let's talk about cheese. <laughs> cheese is a really good deal at Costco typically. I like to buy my cheese that's eight ounce, whether it's shredded or sliced or blocked for $1.67 when they're on sale at the grocery store. So it doesn't happen all the time. So if you don't have a crazy sale like that at your grocery store, I'm okay with $1.99 for every eight ounces. And this actually is a great deal. The Tillamook um, ends up being $1.71. So it's a little bit over like my buy it now crazy price. So this is a great price to buy at Costco. The shredded cheese version of the Tillamook is the same great stock up price. It's less than $1.67 per eight ounces. It's just in a huge bag, five pounds of cheese. So make sure you need that much if you're gonna order it. But it is a great stock up price as well. One of the other products that I like to buy at Costco is my finished dishwasher detergent because it is a great price. Nine cents per tab. This is like the same price as Amazon's crazy subscribe and save promotions, but you can get it here at that price anytime they have a manufacturer's rebate. So it's a great deal. There are so many different versions of laundry detergent. It's really hard to know whether you're getting a great deal or not. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tip when it comes to laundry detergent. Every Tide is different too, so if like your brand loyal to Tide or something like that, you need to look at the price per wash load. That will totally help you out. For me, anything that's 19 cents or lower is what I will buy. So for example, this would be one that I'd buy because it's a great deal, it's a stock up price. Whereas this one is not because it's 27 cents a load. Um, and again, because this one has a manufacturer rebate on it, um, it's 13 cents a load, which is crazy. So that is what I would look for when you go for Tide or for certain laundry detergents. 19 cents or lower per load is the deal price. You'll also notice that you can get a better deal on other brands that are not Tide. Tide is like the most expensive one. So 13 cents with gain and 10 cents a load for all, although it's kind of in the wrong section. <laughs> I think that's the all that's supposed to be underneath it. Now that we're moving into summer, life jackets are such a great deal at Costco. $19.99 for the kids or for the infant ones. They also have great prices on the older kids and adults. This is where we always get our life jackets because they are the cheapest prices. Okay, I just want to take a time out for a minute and just say, some of you are probably like, how in the world does she know all these prices? How does she know these prices are really good? Well, I used to run a deal blog, a money-saving blog for six years. So I was really aware of what kind of prices were out there, what were great, good prices, what were bad prices, um, what kind of deals were being offered all the time. So I kind of just have all that knowledge still. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a good idea to put it in a Costco video because everyone likes to shop at Costco. But since they're raising prices this year, did you guys know that? They're raising prices this year on memberships. Um, I wanted you guys to know whether it was worth it or not to keep your membership and what things you should be buying here and what things you shouldn't be buying. All right, let's talk about Disney DVDs and new releases. Um, Costco usually has the best prices or matches the best prices on those new release DVDs. Sometimes they have special manufacturer rebates, so it's a good idea to check Costco before you purchase anywhere else, um, unless you've done like a pre-order somewhere. And in that case, the pre-orders are gonna be cheaper than what you'll find at Costco. So let's talk about Gatorade, because I know it's really easy to buy at Costco. This is one of the times when you might be tricked. So you'll notice that the Gatorades here end up being 45 cents a bottle, which you think is a great price until you realize they're 45 cents a bottle is for the 16.9 ounce bottles, not the 32 ounce bottles. Um, the big stores like Kroger and Smith's and all those grocery stores do a sale for Gatorade and Powerade for about 50 cents for their 32 ounce bottles. 
a couple times a year. So that is the place you want to stock up. You will not want to buy them here at Costco unless you're in a pinch. Okay, when it comes to bottled waters, Costco is the place to buy it. Their 80 pack is $6.99. And just so you guys know, typically it's $1.99 for 24 pack is like the deal most grocery stores offer, which ends up being 10 cents per bottle of water. This ends up being eight and a half cents per bottle of water. So it is a stock up price here. Great place to get your water. Obviously with everything I've been talking about today, it comes down to convenience, right? So if it's convenient for you to go to more than one store or get a deal at multiple stores, then that's what you want to do. If there's only one thing that's cheaper at a grocery store, then obviously you're not going to drive to a grocery store to get that one thing that's cheaper, right? So use common sense. You guys know if it's worth your time to go to another grocery store or not. If there are a lot of things that are cheaper at a grocery store, obviously you go there, right? But if not, you can buy them at Costco and save a lot of money on the things you should buy in this video and the first video that I did for you guys. Toilet paper is one of the tricky ones because everyone has their brand that they're loyal to that they like more than others. So this is the tip I'll give you for toilet paper. I typically won't spend more than 20 cents per single roll. Sometimes the rolls are like jumbo rolls where they're double or mega rolls where they're quadruple. So you do have to do a little bit of math, but the prices at Costco are pretty awesome most of the time. So this one I'm gonna say it's a yes and a no depending on what the prices are and depending on what brand you're purchasing. If you can get 20 cents a roll or less, then you're getting a great deal. Okay, it's sister product, paper towels. Paper towels have gone up in price so much over the last couple of years, I can't even believe it. So when it comes to paper towels, I try to go for a dollar a roll. That is not very possible all the time, so if you need to go a little bit higher than that, you can. But with that price point, it's not the best price here at Costco, and I try Amazon or another place instead to get the best deal. Now it's time to talk about prepackaged small bags of chips, because I know that's a thing a lot of people will buy, especially for school lunches or for the summertime and things like that. Um, 30 cents or less a bag is what you're looking for. 25 cents per bag is what I'm looking for typically, and all of these are no-goes. They're like 40 cents or more per bag, but this one here happens to be 24 cents a bag. So this is a stock up price for this one. Every time you're gonna have to look and check because it's different depending on what kind of manufacturer rebate they have, and it might get to 30 cents or less per bag when that happens, so just watch the prices. Okay, another item that I would not buy at Costco is brown sugar. I know, sad, right? Their brown sugar is $4.99 for seven pounds, and many times throughout the year, I have seen brown sugar go as low as 50 cents per pound, um, so it's not the best price here. You can get it at the grocery store typically cheaper when they have their baking sales, which happen about twice a year. So stock up when you have those sales, you can get the best price on things like brown sugar. All right, looks like the powdered sugar is no different. It is too expensive here. Obviously, if you guys are running low, then yeah, grab it because it's a pretty decent price. But I just know that I can get it cheaper a few times during the year when they go as low as 50 cents per pound. Um, so look for those sales. They always have one in November for all of the baking sales they have, and they usually have one in the spring as well. So just be on the lookout for a better price. Flour is something you definitely wanna buy at Costco. All of the brands seem to be like an awesome price. Flour at grocery stores typically is 40 cents per pound when it goes on sale. And the price per pound here is 22 cents. And for this brand, it is 26 cents per pound. So obviously this is a way better deal for flour, way better to buy one of these huge things than trying to buy the smaller ones at the grocery store when they go on sale for 40 cents, which is not a deal. So cream of chicken soup, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, whatever. These go on sale every year in November for about 75 cents a can. Costco has this for $6.69, which makes them over a dollar per can. So I would recommend that you stock up on this in November instead of coming to Costco to buy your cream of chicken or Campbell's cream of whatever soups. Obviously guys, like if you're out of something, Costco is probably a really great place to buy that item if you're out of it and you need it. But the idea of saving money is to buy things ahead of time when they're a great price and stocking up. So when you do need that product, you can go down to your basement and grab it, or you can go out to your storage and grab it, or wherever you're stocking those items. So you can always have a great deal. It's like you have your own grocery store that you've stocked at great prices that you can go down and grab another can if you need it, and always buy on the sales so you're never paying full price for anything. I don't know about you guys, but I love Progresso Soup. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. Um, typically, these have gone on sale for a dollar in years past, but with inflation, a dollar thirty is usually what you can get them on sale for. And ta-da! This is a great price for eight cans. Nine ninety-nine ends up being about one thirty-ish per can. So if you like this stuff, buy it at Costco because it is a great stock up price. So I just have to tell you guys do not buy a Blue Apron gift card here. I bought it because I wanted to do a video on Blue Apron and see if it was like cheaper to buy it versus grocery shopping, right? 
this is actually not a good deal at all. Their website actually offers like a $30 promotion. This only gives you $20 off and you can't use it with any of their coupon codes. It's basically not like a true gift card. I was so annoyed when I bought it. I actually had to come back and return it. So do not buy this here. <laughs> you can actually go to their website and get a better deal. I'll give you guys a link below if you guys want to try out Blue Apron. If you're going to buy granola bars um, from Quaker, it is better to buy them at Costco. Yay! Because here they're um, a little bit under 15 cents each. The typical deal you'll see on Amazon, subscribe and save, or Amazon Prime Pantry is 16 cents a bar. So this is a great deal if your kids love these and mine totally do. With that said, the Nature Valley bars seem to be really overpriced here. I typically found them for 10 to 15 cents a bar and they are 26 cents a bar here as much as 45 cents a bar say what yeah so maybe check another place to get your nature valley granola bars if you like that brand time to talk about fruit snacks guys fruit snacks i won't pay more than a dollar per box sometimes if i'm low i'll do a dollar 50 per box that ends up being 10 to 15 cents per package of fruit snacks so Mott's is a good brand because it's between 10 and 15 cents per package So is Treetop. So is Kellogg's. But Kirkland's are more expensive, probably because they're organic. So if that matters to you, then you could pay a little bit more for them. But so overall, fruit snacks are a go at Costco. All right guys, so did that help you? I hope it did. I hope it gave you some ideas of things to buy and things not to buy at Costco. Like I promised, I'm gonna link you guys in just a second. A picture's gonna pop up for you and you guys can just click on it and it will take you to the part one of all the Costco deals and all the things you should and shouldn't buy at Costco. So hopefully that helps you out. I actually think we could probably do a part three if you guys are up for it because there's so many products here. Utah actually has the largest Costco in the world. I would love to go to that Costco and show you guys more things that you can get. Make sure you guys comment below if you want me to do another Costco video, okay? Along with this video, I'm gonna do a giveaway for you guys. So make sure you check the first comment below this video in the comment section. If you guys are on your phone, you have to scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom to see the comment section. But my comment will be pinned at the very, very top for you. Then you guys can enter and maybe I'll give away like a Costco gift card or something. Um, or maybe a couple. So you guys can use those if you win to save more money at Costco, but use your gift card and get it free. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're brand new so you don't miss any more upcoming videos and any more Costco videos that I might do. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!